Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Leonardo acquires Copter. The first Bear Hot companion kits are delivered, and the Collins Foundation undertakes a voluntary stand down. Welcome, I'm Sophie Herlock. Leonardo signed the contract with Linwood AG to acquire 100% of Copter Group AG, a move which will allow Leonardo to further strengthen its position in the rotorcraft sector. Copter's SH-09, a new single-engine helicopter, is praised as a perfect fit for Leonardo's product range. Within the helicopter division of Leonardo, Copter will act as an autonomous legal entity and competence center. The purchase price on a cash and debt-free basis consists of a $185 million fixed component plus an earnout mechanism linked to certain milestones over the lifetime of the program, starting from 2022. The closing transaction is expected to take place during the first quarter of 2020. We'll be right back with Around the Patch. Finally, a modern, affordable four-seater without compromise. Turbocharged Rotax 915IS power, 155-knot cruise, 800 nautical mile range, 1,000 feet per minute climb, and all that at 8 gallons per hour. Don't compromise. Check out the Sling TSI today at AirplaneFactory.com. Welcome back, it's time for today's trip around the patch. On Monday, J.J. Friggy was promoted to president of Hartzell Propeller. Hartzell's previous president, Joe Brown, will become company chairman and will partner with Friggy on the longer-term elements of running the family-owned business. Friggy began at Hartzell back in 2011 as the company's controller and has since steadily assumed more responsibilities in leading the company. In 2013, he took responsibility for the day-to-day -day business team at Hartzell Propeller, in addition to marketing and brand-building efforts. Astronauts aboard the International Space Station have baked the first food in space, the Double Tree by Hilton chocolate chip cookies. The experiment took place over the course of several days, as each cookie was baked one at a time inside a zero-g oven. And while baking, the cookies on Earth typically take 16 to 18 minutes on 300 degrees Fahrenheit. In space, the cookies took around 120 minutes to bake, with 25 minutes of cooling time to get them to the right amount of doneness. The board of directors of the Valiant Air Command voted to postpone its 43rd Space Coast Warbird Air Show to 2021. The decision is based on the fact costs associated with this event have increasingly become restricted for a 100% non-profit, volunteer-based, member-supported organization to take on by themselves. Donations and sponsorship from the local community have also declined significantly over the last five years, yet the costs to sponsor an air show have increased exponentially. Anodyne Electrics Manufacturing Corporation has been selected to design and manufacture the new Master Caution Annunciator Panel for Enstrom Helicopter's 480B helicopter. Enstrom has previously used AEM's loudspeaker and illuminated panel products in their helicopters. The first completed aircraft is expected to be delivered later this year. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. Today is a new dawn. With a new name. A new logotype. A new factor. And a global kunden focus. We are Continental Aerospace Technologies and we stand behind you. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. 
We are Hartzell Propeller. Bearhawk Aircraft's first two Bearhawk Companion kits have been delivered. The new Companion kit is a side-by-side two-place aircraft that is sole capable, cruises at 130 to 150 miles an hour, and carries up to 1,150 pounds of payload. The Companion joins the Bearhawk Aircraft lineup, which ranges from 1,320 pounds to 2,500 pounds gross weight, with two or four seats. Bearhawk Aircraft feature aluminum wings completely flush riveted, a strong steel tube fuselage, and fast cruise speeds with low speed manners. Buyers had requested a side-by-side -side two place Bearhawk design. The Bearhawk Companion is based on the patrol's wing and fuselage derived from the four place. The Bearhawk Companion can be powered by the lower cost and readily available lie coming four cylinder engines, including the 320, 360, 370, and 375 variants, and IO 390, providing 150 to 210 horsepower. A large cargo area will occupy the cabin behind the seats. The new two place companion offers 2,200 pounds gross weight, an increase of 200 pounds over the tandem patrol. The Collings Foundation will proceed with its 2020 Wings of Freedom tour, but will do so without offering the opportunity to fly aboard its historic warbirds. The voluntary stand down has been put in place as a part of an agreement with the FAA. Following an accident last year in which the Foundation's B-17 hit runway approach lights, veered into a building containing de-icing fluids and caught fire, killing seven of the 13 people on board and destroying the aircraft. For now, only ground tours of the organization's B-24 Liberator Bomber and P-51 Mustang Fighter will be available to the public. However, the revenue from the flight experiences is vital to maintenance of the aircraft and the Foundation hopes the living history flights will resume in the near future. The Foundation is still promoting the flights on their website. And that wraps up our show for today. Don't forget to subscribe and to check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. For more aviation and aerospace news any time of the day, head over to aero-news.net. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.